Chevy Silverado is a real pretty truck. But it's not just a real pretty truck. Get a real truck. Get a Chevy Silverado. Visit jackburford.com 24-7 and be sure to subscribe to the Jack Burford Chevrolet YouTube channel. Hope the beginning of your week and holiday off day for many of us is off to a good start. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Monday afternoon news brief. A man was arrested in Richmond for assault recently when officers responded to a complaint alleging he had tried to stab someone over the weekend. Officers arrived and witnessed Octavian Kador at the residence on West Main with a bloody hand. A broken window was also observed in the area. When officers spoke with Kador, he admitted that he was in a physical altercation with the victim. He allegedly admitted that he hit the victim with both a fist and a lamp. They also reported that he attempted to kill the victim. He was taken to the hospital for treatment and was then taken to the detention center and charged with second-degree assault as domestic violence. A fire broke out in Junction City this morning and crews remained on scene until almost lunchtime. The Inferno was at a residence on White Oak Road and the plunging temperatures led to difficulties when it came to fighting the fire, leading to crews being out there for multiple hours. In honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, not only were schools out of session and will be tomorrow in Madison County due to lingering flu threats, but the annual breakfast in March took place. WBONT was there for the yearly events and the video can be seen up now on WBONTV.com. A Lexington man was arrested recently by Richmond Police after a traffic infraction and was then found with suspected narcotics after being seen in a known high drug trafficking area of Richmond. 28-year-old Jacob Qualls was observed driving the rental vehicle that was pulled over and allegedly denied a search of the vehicle. A K-9 unit was then deployed and alerted to a bag of suspected cocaine as well as heroin. Qualls was arrested and charged with possession of both heroin and cocaine as well as buying and possession of paraphernalia along with traffic violations and lodged in the Madison County Detention Center. And finally, a woman was found dead in Laurel County Sunday, leading to a death investigation. The incident occurred at a home on Fisherman Island Road, seven miles south of London, where 72-year-old Glinda Smith was found dead outside of her car. An autopsy is scheduled for today, but at the moment, deputies do believe that she may have fallen, hit her head, and this could all be related to the cold weather. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.